Hey guys, Adam from Equipped and Doorwell. Unfortunately, we're getting some rain here recently and I've had a request here for an EDC update. Uh, so I thought I'd do that video real quick and I have kind of two parts of this. Uh, mainly what I carry in my pockets and also this backpack. This is my switchback from uh, Hazard 4. You guys have seen this. A couple modifications I've done this bag here recently that you have not seen. We'll go over that here in, in a quick second. Uh, but this bag is kind of my, I take this with me everywhere I go. Uh, there's a, the way I deploy this is pretty interesting because if it's work or if it's you know an outdoor trip or if it's just me walking around downtown taking a trip down to DC or something like that I have this so I can make uh, different changes very quickly and that way I have everything I need for whatever kind of excursion I'm doing so let's first go off you know kind of everything that's in my pockets everything else I have with me uh, first off um, paracord bracelet kind of a mandatory type thing extra paracord I've seen, seen a lot of people weave extra things into that bracelet also, also, I get a lot of questions about my uh, Pathfinder watch. This is a Casio Pathfinder, tough solar, very nice watch. I'll probably, I've been trying to do a video on this for a while. I just keep on forgetting to do it. So maybe I'll do it here in the very near future. And let's see what else we got in here. Um, now this is my personal wallet, um, you know, credit cards, cash, uh, you know, all the other stuff people usually keep in their wallet. Um, on the other side, though, I have my credential wallet. So this is for my, my work stuff. And let's see, I got my Terralux Lightstar 80 flashlight. This is uh, my iPhone. I have an iPhone 5. Right now, the knife that I'm carrying is my Zero Tolerance uh, 0350. Great knife. No complaints about this. And also, I'm just wearing some cargo shorts, so nothing big. Of course, guys, you know me about the chapstick. I uh, got my little Swiss Army knife. This is the farmer. This is my farmer. So I've gone to a Swiss Army knife except, uh, and not gone to a, back to a multi-tool. Like every once in a while, I have a multi-tool in my bag. But in my pockets, I carry this. Flathead, bottle opener, wire cutter. You know, um, we have another screwdriver, can opener. We have a great saw, we have a decent blade, and we have an awl. One of these days I'm actually going to put a lanyard on this thing. I've been thinking about it for a while now, just having an opportunity to do that. Anything else in here? Okay, got my keys. Got a big old bunch of keys. It's kind of ridiculous. On here I have some extra 550 core that's been gutted. I have a striker and a uh, little ferro rod from the Boy Scouts. Bunch of keys, as you guys can see. Also have one of these little, I think this is the Handy Sharp. I actually use this quite often. Great little item. And let me see, anything else? Got my glasses, also got my pistol. So this is my Glock 23, and um, this is a third gen. I do have a fourth gen now at work, which I, actually I don't like it as much as my, my third gen. Uh, you guys see I have a little modification, got my little beaver tail thing on here, which I really like. On uh, this Kydex hold, holster I, I bought a while back, we did a video on this. Um, we'll do some uh, awesome in the pocket Kydex holster. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me give you guys uh, some close up shots of that real quick before we jump into what's in this bag. Alright guys, just to give you guys some close up shots. Love the Zero Tolerance, we did videos, test and review on this a while back. We'll have some links down below. Uh, Zero 350 is one of the smaller folders that Zero Tolerance makes. I love this knife. S30V, not bad steel. I've had it for a while. A little bit tricky to sharpen with this little recurve right here. Uh, but for a big meaty knife, it does have a slimmer profile than some of my other knives, believe it or not. Great, great blade. Of course, got my little paracord on there. I do go back and forth between this and my Benchmade 580. Uh, right now, I'm rocking the Zero Tolerance. Wallets. Cred wallet, nothing new there. This Casio Pathfinder watch, I get a lot of questions about this. Never done a video with it. It does have a compass, digital compass, a barometer, and uh, altimeter. Got a small compass on here. This, the only reason this is on here is to verify that the digital compass is, is functioning properly. There's the make and model number if you guys are interested. My Swiss Army knife, you guys have seen this, probably one of my favorite Swiss Army knives ever, ever. anodized aluminum, nice just useful tools, everything that you need, 
and nothing that you don't. Fits in the pocket. I mean, I was at, out at a uh, event in a tuxedo and I still had this in my pocket. So, and I really like the saw as I showed you guys right there. And the awl is pretty awesome as well. Great little item. Got my little thin blue line paracord bracelet, a must. My iPhone 5, it's a great little item. Of course, it's uh, getting pinged there. Little flashlight, Light Star 80 from Terralux. Little 80 lumen light with the bite plate right here. Just a couple of my keys, fellas, nothing big. Extra paracord, ferro rod. I got my carbite plate there. Of course, my Batman keychain. Chapstick, and then of course, Glock 23. I do have night sights on this weapon. Great little pistol. And the Kydex holster. Now this, this is made for the Gen 3. My Gen 4 doesn't fit in here because of the, of course the magazine release on the Gen 4 is a lot larger than on the Gen 3. But great, can uh, make the tension on a little bit better. Fits in here very well. Easy to take it out. This is of course for in the pants carry. Easy to take it on and off, especially if I'm getting in and out of my car. I carry this on my back, not my side, so it's easy to take in and out if I need to. All right, guys, so let's go to the uh, bag. All right, guys, so pretty self-explanatory. You know, I, I've kind of, I go back and forth with some additional items. Sometimes I carry my multi-tool on me. Um, sometimes I don't. I'll switch that out for my Swiss Army knife. Sometimes I change up the knife that, I, that I'm carrying as well. Keys over here. And then my weapon. Sometimes I carry it in the bag. Sometimes I carry it in the small of my back. So let's talk about that first. So we're going to go to the back side of this bag. And you guys have seen this review. If you haven't seen the review and the test, the overview and the review of this bag, I'll have a video attached below. But we're able to open this section is, which originally designed for a, a medium-sized laptop. Now, I, I've had some questions about my MacBook, my 17-inch MacBook Pro. I bought the last year that they make the 17-inch. They don't make a 17-inch anymore. Uh, but in here, I do have two additional 13-round magazines for my Glock. Now, I've, we've had this conversation couple times before I don't carry additional magazines on my person I just carry them in the gear bag which I have pretty much everywhere I go and I also have another holster in here so if I want the holster I can carry that on in the bag slip it around unzip it and get to it pretty quickly something though guys if you're going to carry like that make sure you train it's not really a good idea to carry multiple different ways you need to train how you fight so if you carry something try to carry it the same way all the time of course sometimes I don't have the choice of that you know but if you do, try to make that happen. So universal holster fits in here. Of course, this is nice Velcro material, nice padded material here. You can also hang a, a uh, hydration bladder or like I said before, put in a smaller laptop. All right, so that zips up. Make sure to keep that zipper on the side so I can get in there. And most of the times, you know, if I'm wearing just a t-shirt and, and shorts or something, I probably won't have my weapon on me. I'll probably keep it in my bag. Um, but if I do, I can just take this put the holster in there and put this holster in another section of the bag. All right, so same, a little bit more of the same thing over here. Now this is an important aspect of this kit because I do carry my Swiss tool right here. Um, there are some redundant tools in this, in this bag and we'll go over why I have that, but this one I always have with this bag. This bag has enough volume and everything to, to put an awesome piece of kit in there and I will always have this with me as well, just not usually in my pocket. Now today it was raining so I threw in a little mini umbrella goes in this pouch right here. If it's not, not going to rain that day or whatever, check the forecast. I might leave this in the side of my car. All right, so this little pouch right here, of course, this is a hard case for my glasses. Right now, I actually don't have my sunglasses in here because I wore them today, but I have some glass cleaner in this. And so if I'm wearing my sunglasses or my glasses, I can just throw these in here and uh, zip that up, and that's safe in this hard shell. Great little piece of kit right there. Let's snap that back up. And then right here, actually, I have another cell phone. I know, Adam, what are you carrying two cell phones for? Well, one's for, one's for uh, my personal and one's for my E2E. I actually have a, a GOV cell phone as well, which I don't like to talk about either. So sometimes I have three cell phones on me. As ridiculous as that is. So this one usually stays in here. 
kind of my work cell phone. It's not a bad idea to have a backup cell phone. Even if the plan is, even if the phone is turned off, you can still use a 911 function. We'll come over here. I've got my clean canteen water bottle. It needs to be filled up, get a little low. Use that today. And then I have my MSR little titanium cup. Yeah, as you guys can see, that's seen some love quite a few times. So throw that back in there. All right, another additional pouch I have here is this broadside pouch. Now this is one of the aspects of the kit. I just am testing this out to see if I like it. I might remove it um, just because it adds a little bit more bulk. It's not that heavy. I mean, I guess I could put it on the side. I just put it right here and I have a little bit more volume of space. I can get some stuff in there. On the exterior, we have this little monocular piece. Awesome little item. And then inside here, it's kind of like a mini little shelter system. Uh, this is a space poncho that you guys have seen. Space blanket poncho. I have a SOL, SOL heat sheet. I have another just emergency blanket. 25 feet, 550 cord, a uh, quite a bit of bank line, and then this does not really count as uh, it's more of a water thing. But I have a platypus bag. I have several of these bags. 1.8 liter or 60 ounce bag. So I'll throw it back in there, but. This is one of those things too, I don't necessarily need to keep this on here, but this part of the pack, this is not very heavy, so I'm not really uh, giving up any, I'm giving up some, some, there's some bulk added to the pack, but there's not that much weight added to the pack because of this. Okay. Then we have the zipper pocket. I don't know what's in here, this might be a surprise. So we have my headphones. You guys have seen in previous videos. Pack of gum. My CPR kit. Now I, I do think I might put this in this section right here. Might even do that right now. Something I can get to pretty quickly. Spare set of keys. This is something I'm testing out. Can of cord, 20 feet of paracord. There's some pros and cons of that. You guys have seen the little live fire, so I threw an extra one in here. And then I got some tea. I usually have one or two bags of tea in here. I think I only have one. I've used one before. This, these are some N95, N95 masks. I think I got two of those. Oh, there's another tea bag. So I got a green tea, blueberry, and I have super fruit. And believe it or not, I'll be out and about and make myself some tea. 35 cents. I don't know why there's 35 cents in there, but I guess that's for the meter. So that pouch is empty. Now this other pouch, this is kind of the admin pouch. I've actually stopped using it for that purpose. I don't carry any extra things in here, and I'll explain why. Um, I do have an extra set of headphones, funny enough. Um, oh, actually there's something in here. I did lie. I do have the uh, stylus to my iPad. And here's my iPad. So I know this is kind of like, why is this in your everyday carry? Well, I use this thing all the time for business, for E2E stuff. I mean, I'm pretty much uh, use this instead of my laptop. My laptop, I do most of my film editing and everything, but I use this for majority of everything else. So great item, but if you're into iPads. So I don't carry anything else on this section and I'll, and I'll show you why. Now we're kind of getting to the, the meat of the bag. I've kind of broken down this bag to be able to hold different little systems that I can take out or remove as need be. And I'll show you those in a little bit. Well, first here, I got nothing in this mesh pocket. So this is extra storage area for little stuff. I do have though, one of these microfiber towels. And the reason being, there's a lot of utility of these, but like if I'm at work and take a shower, we have like the dispensers in the shower, like for soap and and whatnot, but sometimes I'll forget to bring a towel. Well, this, I always have a towel with me. So if I go to the gym or whatever at work, I got a towel. Stuff this back in here. Doesn't take up much room, pretty lightweight. All right, so first off is my little first aid kit. You guys have seen this in other videos, so I'm not gonna go into that in this video, just your normal bandages and tape and gauze and, you know, ointments and stuff like that, so. But it's in this, uh, Crush proof type Pelican case. Got my hat. I'm gonna throw that bad boy on right now. Always gonna have a hat with you. 
All right, so now I have these other little pouches. Oop, one thing. This is uh, my White Sierra uh, little jacket, which I've used before and had friends or whatever use. So I have these little Max Edition pouches, and I've talked to you guys in, in the videos. So we have like kind of the, the mini, we have the main, and we have the fat boy, whatever pouch right here. This is why it gets kind of cool. I'll get into those in a second. We do have my White and Rain journal. I'll have an extra link to a video I just did recently on that one if you guys are curious. And that's pretty much everything that's in this, in this bag. Now I do carry extra little Velcro strips that can go into the interior of this bag in case I need to you know, have something that's moving around and I want to make sure it stays in place. When you're packing your bag, especially with a shoulder rig bag like this, a single shoulder bag, if the weight distribution is messed up, your, your back's gonna hurt a little bit more. So it's very important to make sure you put the heavy stuff up at the top of the bag near your, near your neck and as close to your back as possible. If it's down at the bottom and away from your back, it's gonna cause you more you know, pain. And so that's the main reason why I have that on there so I can, I can secure things if I'm, if I'm taking other things in here. Now, I still have enough volume in this pack to throw some extra stuff in there. And so like I said before, if I'm out you know, hanging out with my wife and I make a purchase or something, I can throw it in there not carrying any, any items or whatever I'm doing. Throw some extra clothes in here. I've also used the, uh, the straps on the bottom here to have a tarp or anything else if I'm gonna use this for an overnighter. So now I have like three little pouches right here. One is kind of a tool pouch and I'll show you what's in here in a second. This one's kind of like a mini survival kit. This can be thrown into a pocket. I'm still working on this, so this is not complete. There's still some components out of other kits I wanna to add to this. And so this is kind of like a proof of concept right here. And then this one is kind of my little electronics pouch. So I'm gonna show you guys this one first. I just have extra cords for my phones, uh, for my iPad, uh, for my camera. And there's the chargers down here for my, my iPad. Of course, you can use this on your iPhone as well. So this is going to get, you know, any other additional little electronic uh, piece of equipment that I acquire. If I'm going out someplace and I don't need my iPad, if I'm going out in the woods, well then I just pull this out, pull this out, pull my iPad out, you know, and then put this anywhere. If I'm, if I'm you know, walking around to a park and I don't want to carry this stuff with me, you know, put this under the seat of my car and be squared away. The same thing kind of goes with these items. This is kind of a toolkit and this is pretty large. Um, but we have everything from flashlights to a tire gauge to micro screwdrivers, uh, pencil pin, Sharpie. We have some, some Allen wrench sets and some other hex sets, other screwdrivers, a small pocket knife, an extra flashlight, and actually a titanium crowbar if you guys can see that in there. So this, this, I've got tons of more room. I know this thing looks pretty full, but this pouch back here is not even being utilized. And there's a Velcro section behind here that's not been utilized. So this is gonna be a, a mini toolkit um, that I can take with me if I'm doing any biking or anything like that. I've got all kinds of different stuff. I'm out on the range or whatnot. I can adjust my weapon, my sights or anything like that. Or if there's just a mechanical issue that somebody needs some tools, um, this is what this kit is gonna be. But of course, something like this, if I go out for a day hike, you know, I can take this out and leave this in my car. If I'm going out for a biking, you know, I might want to bring this with me. Um, and, or this might be something I just leave in, in the glove box in my car unless I want to have it for whatever situation. So it's a pretty cool little idea I had. I, I got more stuff to put in there. The weight is actually still pretty good and it fits in that top pocket. So this is probably the most, uh, the heaviest, the most, uh, the most weight of any of the other packs, but it fits in there pretty good. And this pack right here, my little zombie hunter pouch, this could easily go in a cargo pocket if I wanted to. And this is kind of a little survival kit, maybe a little, little urban-esque. And we'll probably do a separate video with this, showing you guys everything in here. Just a, you know, I got a flashlight, a mini pry bar, light my fire. This is rubber around a lighter. Um, there's a, some water purification tablets back here. A lot more room in here. This thing is nowhere to be filled. A, note, a notepad. Uh, we do have a pen, emergency whistle, emergency uh, mirror. I have a plastic cap here. I'll show you what this got in here. And one of these little mini H1 spider coats. This is actually my first spider coat knife. If you guys have been asking me to do spider coat knife videos forever, I bought this little guy at County Con just because it was so small. It would fit into this kit perfectly. And so that's my first H1 little spider coat. This is a, I've been kind of on a match kick after I had that kind of a strange uh, test on that strike all. And so I went and bought some emergency matches. 
and uh, some storm matches, I'm sorry, and put them in these containers because matches are pretty good and these burn awesome. It's a little O-ring in here to make this waterproof. So that's kind of the concept of this little pouch. And like I said before, we have much more that we're going to do with this here in the very near future. So let me give you guys some closer looks right now. So as you guys can see, we're able to pack a lot of gear in here for a lot of different purposes. There's the tool kit, my electronic kit, my little mini survival kit. Got my E2E tablet, medical kit. The only other item that I have that I haven't put in here is I have an extra tube tent at my other residence that I'm getting ready to throw in there and then we'll be squared away. But all in all, some pretty great pieces of equipment. There's a lot of multi-purpose in here. For example, tea bags for a toothache or something like that, or even, you know, taking some pain out of a, a wound. Great stuff. The live fire can be used as a mini little little lantern if I want some light. A couple of flashlights in this kit is, as well. So there's not gonna be any issues there. Multiple tool options and some redundancy. You know, even though the, the shelter system is pretty low compact with these pieces of, of, of kit and then maybe this right there, we're able to maintain a lot of body heat if uh, something would happen. And then of course, if there's some kind of northern city area and there's a lot of smoke and debris, these little N95 masks or even some kind of pandemic uh, can help us for a little bit. They don't last very long, but I do have two in there in case I'm with somebody else, they have one as well. Of course, we have some uh, redundancy with the communications. And also, this doesn't even really count as my little bug out kit that I always maintain in my vehicle. So if, I, if something were to happen, I was in my vehicle, I'd also have that be able to deploy both systems at the same time and have a lot of redundancy in case I need to escape an evasion type situation or, or evacuation type situation out of a, a city. Here. Oh, guys, I forgot one other piece of my kit. That's always with me. Hop up. Oh. Big old personal protection dog. That's a good boy. Boy, good boy. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll try to knock out some other videos here and have a couple additional uh, videos for specific gear if you guys are interested. And hey, let me know if you guys have any suggestions because you know I learned just as much from you guys as you guys learned from me and I appreciate the feedback. And of course, this won't last forever. I'll figure out another piece of kit or something else I can do with some other piece of equipment and uh, modify that. So this, by the time this video is done, edited and posted, my kit might have already changed, but that's okay. That's half the fun. Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Indoor. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedindoor.com. You guys take care, be safe out there. Remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.